Oh, big wreck. <laughs> the Granite Grom. This is the little guy that started the whole craze. Guys, let's go ahead, tear it apart, and we're gonna upgrade it. You know, as far as durability goes and all that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the stock truck. It holds up, you could take it to the skate parks, you could take it, you could bash it. Basically, you could do everything with it, except for there is one thing, one problem that they all have. Stock axles are not gonna hold up very well. And the rear diffs and the front diffs, they're not gonna hold up and neither are the outdrives. That'll be the first thing that breaks is the outdrives. So we've actually already done one of these builds before by GPM and these are the parts we're gonna be using. We're gonna use uh, the servo mount. We're gonna do a full set of aluminum arms. The diffs, of course, to handle the power. There is the ESC that we're gonna be using. This is the micro Mamba Monster X2. Uh, the gentleman I bought it from, I don't know why he took off uh, the top. Anyways, we're gonna use that. And then we got the axles. We have front and rear. We got the knuckles, front and rear knuckles. Guys, these come with bearings and I do sell all this on my website. We got the front diff cover and we got the rear diff cover. And then last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and change up the steering rack to silver on this build. As far as uh, the servo, we're gonna go ahead and use this NSDRC. Uh, 6 volt, 8.4 volt. This is an awesome servo. Check this out, guys. I got these PNW mats. They're magnetic, and you won't lose your little screws. And if you guys drop screws when you're taking your cars apart, check it out. They'll just bounce. I mean, they won't bounce because it's magnetic. So you can find these on my website as well. Perfect for your backpack, taking little places. Perfect for working on your little groms. Once you get the screws pulled out of the bottom there, and you got two right here on top of the bumper. All you're gonna do is just kinda pull on that and it's just gonna slide right off. One really cool thing about these Groms is they have easily accessible front and rear diffs. So if you wanna upgrade, all you gotta do is just pull your front front skid off. You don't, I don't even know, yeah, pull this off and then check this out, guys. These diff cases come right off. So we're gonna be installing these ones right here. In order to get your stocks or even the upgraded steering servo apart, steering rack, you're gonna to wanna to take one side off and then it actually slides through right there, that little hole in the chassis. So when you go to reassemble it, check it out. This is the GPM rack we're gonna be using. Or so we're gonna be using green, silver, and black in this build. And it comes with, let's see here, where did it go? It just comes with the rack. And it comes with these little copper or bronze uh, spacers. This is a MGG2122-G, and we're going to be using green. Again, these are 7075 aluminum, and the, the rears come with bearings, and you have to use the bearings out of the stock uh, front hubs. Build, we're going to be using this package. I sell these online as well. It offers the front and rear, upper and lower arms. Uh, like I said, we're gonna be installing these ones in black. And then we got the, since we're working on the front, we got the front axle, comes with a stub axle, and it also has a, a green aluminum 7075 hex. There it is right there by GPM. Now the benefits, all these parts, they are super strong. They don't bend, they're not gonna break on you. Uh, the tr truck was already tough, and in my experience, adding aluminum uh, actually upgrades the truck and actually upgrades the experience you have while driving the truck. And it's just fun to take apart and work on. And these parts really are not expensive at all. I mean, I don't remember what they are, but they're not too bad. So you can grab a setup like this for me on my site. You can start wrenching. I even have tools, so let's start, let's start wrenching. Quick tip for taking your stub axle off. Um, some of you guys might be wondering how to get that off. If you have a pair of shock pliers, you can use that portion of the shock plier, or you can just use like a, uh, a 12 millimeter or a crescent wrench. Grab your two millimeter PNW RC Madness wrench. I have these on my site. And then just go ahead and unscrew it. And that is how you get that out of there. And then the GPM one is nothing like this. It's just like your stock, typical stub axle. So once you get that off, then you can just pull that out. 
and then you can get your bearings out for your front knuckles. That's why you have to take that apart to get those bad boys out of there. Would you look at that? I got them all put together. Now, I remind you, you're going to have to use the screws out of the stock knuckles. So don't throw those away. But there we go. We got them screwed together. And then also, don't forget your lock tight. I like to use this Cal RC IC lock. It's just medium strength thread locker. And I do want to show you guys, we were using, like I said, the NSDR servo. And then we're using the GPM. Yeah, I went ahead and ground it down a little bit because I'm using the wrong servo horn. This is actually for the Losi LMT. And then I'm also using the point, the M2.5 uh, screw. I went ahead and I tapped it out so that that screw would fit because the package only comes with the screw that holds it into the servo and not the screw that goes in. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know what's going on here, but there it is. Now it will work. We haven't centered it up yet, but we're going to install it in the truck. And that's that. So super nice. I see that they're offering the aluminum links now, so I'll try to get those and get those a part of the kit, uh, hopefully in the near future. But yeah, we'll shorten up the wires once we get that far. And All right, so I know I told you I was going to install the uh, stock arma diffs well i can't install them for some reason uh, the cups are not deep enough or the axle is too long i believe it I i'm not sure so we're trying to use gpm with these i went online and i found some that will work so we will add those at a different time so for now we're just running with the stock diff check this out because it does work works awesome so we're not gonna be able to put all the power to the wheels uh, but anyways, we're going to keep moving on, and this is what I wanted to show you. So one of the benefits to upgrading to the GPM axles is that these are single. These aren't just dog bones. So if you break, if you break an arm or break a shock off, you have a possibility of losing a stock dog bone. So definitely an awesome upgrade. And then you do have fronts and rears. I believe the fronts are well, 51 millimeters, or it actually says right on the they're 48 and then these are 59 so you got fronts and rears also in the rear of the truck you're going to use the stock factory i don't know what you call that like the hinge pin screw and don't forget to add a little bit of loctite let me show you what these look like so these are really nice check those out so we got the solid aluminum arms in black and then we went ahead and used the gpm rear axle and also the rear hub, and then check that out. It comes with a aluminum hex, ready to bolt it on. We made it out. We made it outside, we got it built. Check it out. This is gonna be our drive review. Again, this is the Arma Granite Grom, the original, and we have it modded Pretty highly and uh, we're gonna do a couple of tests it's raining outside today check this out let me show you what we're running under the hood again the battery setup and the wiring the connections all that good stuff so we're using this CNHL 1500 milliamp 100 C 3s and they already come with a XT 60 so we just went ahead and wired up an XT 60 straight to the castle ESC. Now, one of the reasons why I purchased this truck, guys, is it's, well, it's super small. You can see it fits right in my hand. You know, it's fun to drive around in the house. It's fun for times like this. I'm outside, I'm under cover. I could rip it around here underneath the, you know, the cover and not really cause any issues. The truck is super simple to pack around. I actually brought it here in my backpack today. I just threw the radio in there and the truck and the battery is already charged. And also this Garmin 4Runner 301. So we're gonna do a speed test, but first let's see how it performs out here on this nice smooth sidewalk and possibly this grass. Okay, so for this build, I used my Fly Sky. This is the original MB4, and we're using an FGR4S. 
and then we have this uh, we have this stuck down with a6000 and we have the power button also stuck down with a6000 and I think the wiring is pretty clean we shorten up the ESC wire and also the servo wire you can see how short they are check out how fast the servo is and I've got it turned down too on the radio Let's see what we can get for a speed test. We're just going to double back tape this on the roof. We got it reset. Let's see here. Hopefully we don't flip it over. Okay, here we go. Press start. There we go. Timer started. Let's see what we can get without flipping her over. Let's go over here. See how it does in the grass. Not too bad. All right, let's see what we can get for speed runs. All right, here we go. Let's turn it around. Whew, guys, it's pretty stable, actually. Let's see what we got. 31.7 miles per hour. Wow, this little truck is awesome. I did the update yesterday on the remote. Burt. All right, let's see. Let's try one more time before we break this thing. So, top speed still 31. Point. All right, here we go again. Let's try this again. I'm gonna go for the top speed. You know, believe it or not, this thing is actually super stable. All right, here we go. Oh. Woo. Oh no. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. I bet you we went faster. Let's see what we got. 38.6. Uh, one really cool thing about this is uh, this battery lasts forever. So I charged it before I came out here and I only put 300 mile into it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, big wreck. <laughs> uh oh. Make sure we can hit it. Let's see if we can hit it. Trick shot. <laughs> see if we can hit it again. Okay, we can't. Oh! Let's try this again. All the way across. Oh, we need a ramp to get up here. Oh! <laughs> okay. The steering is broken. Yeah, the steering is all whack, guys. Well, you know what happened, I bet. I bet you the uh bet you the horn moved. I'll tell you one thing about this truck, it's sure is tough. I'm not sure what happened there, but um we're gonna go ahead and try to adjust the sub trim and get that out of there. Let's go like this. There we go adjust it with that sub trim so we can keep driving still got full play full 
full movement, full, uh, yeah, you know, full throw. Let's see how it does in this tall grass. Ooh. You guys, there's something going on with this jaring. Yeah, you see? See if we can jump this thing. Here we go. Guys, let me remind you, this is all stock diffs under all this power. Let's check the motor and let's see how hot it is. Well, guys, it's not it's not very hot at all. It is getting kind of ooh, it is getting kind of hot. But I can still hold my finger on it. I don't have my temp gun on it. There it is. There it is, guys. Check it out. Let's go see what's going on with the steering. I don't know, it works awesome. It's just a small little truck. I don't know what is going on. You know, it's still centering up where it was when I set it. I'm not sure, guys. Yeah, see, it's weird. Head back to the truck. Let's do a speed run up here, guys. See, it's really weird. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, there's something going on with the steering. Look at that, guys. It just like wants to go right now after we just crashed it. Let's go back right with it. Here we go, let's try it again. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> let's try that one more time. <laughs> this is like the only jump we got of this thing. The steering is just wonky. All right, here we go. Full speed. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we broke it. Oh no, guys. I, I don't know what happened, but. Yep, oh, yep. We broke a shot cap right off. <laughs> so there's probably oil everywhere now. Let's empty the oil. Uh, maybe not in the grass. 